You weren't ready for shotgun, Shepard. Blam! Blam! What is going on, YouTube? My name is Crimson, and we are going to be playing through the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Uh, all three games. We're going to be starting at the first one, of course. Um, and carrying the story over. Um, this is my first time playing through the Legendary Edition. I've played through all of these games, obviously, when they came out. And I have a huge love for them. So much so that I have the N7 tattooed on my chest. It was a big thing for me and my friends when we were growing up. Uh, kind of towards the end of high school when this came out. Uh, and it was just amazing. So I'm excited to play through the Legendary Edition. I know it didn't change a whole lot, but I know it's like remastered and looks a little bit nicer. So let's get started. Just hop into Mass Effect 1. The story of this game is just, I love it so much. It's so fantastic. <laughs> the funny thing is that when, when Andromeda came out, I did not play that, but <laughs> I guess I played it, but we didn't, we didn't get into it all the way. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started. We're getting into character creation. Welcome I think Alliance we're gonna do database. our own character. Classified information um, obviously we could be Shepard. Establishing secure connection. But uh, I think we're gonna do some character creation. Secure Might as well. Confirmed. Even though everyone loves Jane. But we're gonna be... We're gonna be a new ID. I think we're gonna make ourselves. And we're gonna do custom. Log in to access your profile. We are not John. We are Crimson. Boom. Data corruption. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. This does look a little Confirm bit different than the service history. Than when it first came out, that is for sure. <laughs> okay. What's our history? I feel like we go Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. That one's pretty good. We're going to look at the other ones, though. Colonist. You were born and raised on Mindor. A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mintor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted in the military a few years later. And then there's Spacer. Both of your parents were in the alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from postings to postings never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. I think we're going Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. And then these. Soul Survivor, War Hero, and Ruthless. Soul Survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are alone to left to tell the tale. Sounds pretty messed up. War Hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. That one's just a pretty standard, I'm an awesome guy, and I did amazing things in the military. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. So that one is probably what we're going to choose. I'm thinking we're going to do a uh, 
not Paragon. We're going to be the bad guy. We're going to be mean. We're going to be ruthless. We're going to get the job done. Confirm military specialization. I've done soldier playthroughs. I've done adept playthrough. And I've done um, Vanguard. And Vanguard is by far my favorite. So I think this is where we're going to go. Because I love the pistols and I love the shotguns. And then having some biotics is, is just awesome. So I think that's what we're going to do. Infiltrator is also cool, but I'm not a big fan of the snipers. So I think we're going to go Vanguard. Plus we get medium armor. So I think this is what we're doing. Confirm facial identification. Change appearance. We're going to we're going to make ourselves look look good. You know? Which one is is the closest? We're going to make us myself crimson. So I got to find I think it's probably that blonde guy is the closest one. Maybe a little different facial structure. I don't know. You know, we're just winging it. If we get close, we get close. That's probably fine. Skin tone. I'm a, I'm a pasty man. I, uh, if I get some sun, I can get some color, but not a lot. The red, the red hair makes it pretty difficult. Oh man, old man. I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not. That, I'm not that old. That one's okay though. Head, neck, thick, thick neck. All right. Oh no. Oh, facial structure. Yeah, we did that already. Okay. Head. Look at me. Look at me, guy. There we go. Come on, crimson. Eat your stuff together. Oh, okay. The thing is, it, it kind of sucks that they make you make your character in the first game. <laughs> and then the later games have like way more detail that you can put in. I guess maybe you get an update a little bit, but. It's not how it worked with uh, originals. You're just kind of stuck with it. Let's go there. Speak with bring those bring those puppies in a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Ears. That's probably good. I don't know how do my ears look. I can barely even see them. Oh, they're. They don't stick out like a like a freaking bat. Pull those babies back a little bit. All right. That's that. Eyes. Hmm. Oh man. Okay, the first one's okay. That one's a little narrow. That one's just like I look like I just woke up. I think the first one's probably the best. Pretty standard eyes, yeah. Um, that looks okay, yeah. Right around the ear level. Good stuff. Eye width. Mm, that looks kind of normal-ish. Right? Like, I don't have... I'm not a big, big eye gap man. The depth, though. I think that's okay. Just a little bit. You know, we're making, we're making good things. Brow depth. I think this is, this is pretty close to me. I have that, I have that resting RBF. The kids like to, like to call that. Yeah. If I'm just standing still and like not saying a word, especially at work, when I'm at work, 
And people, they, they just think I'm mad for no reason. I'm not that angry. <laughs> but if I'm just standing still, I'm just like, hmm. Always got that, like, grumpy face on. And I don't know why. Sometimes you gotta just tell yourself, hmm. Don't look so grumpy. It's hard. Chin height, there we go. That's pretty good. Chin depth. Okay. Oh, big chin. Big chin! Okay. Hair? Nose. Mouth. Mouth. Oh! I mean... My lips aren't giant. They're not bad. Not that one. Probably that one. How am I supposed to see the depth when you don't turn, man? There we go. Okay. Look at me. Look at me. What are you looking around for? I kind of like how those were. And that's pretty good. Nose. I have a pretty normal, like, smallish nose. It's not huge. I got told the other day that my nostrils are small. Which was, I don't know how to take that. Is that an insult? That one looks okay. Is that like a beak, though? Kind of like a beak. There we go. That's fine. Cool! You know, it's starting to look like you're a pretty standard white dude. I guess it is military, huh? I can't have, um... I can't have long hair. Well, crap. What am I supposed to go with, then? Do I just be bald? Oh, no. Well? I don't know. Did we just do a crew cut? I am military man. Yeah, is that is that what we're going with? Yikes. I guess the beard will make up for it. Oh, that mustache though. Goatee. Yeah, I think we just go with the beard. A little stubble. I got some. Pretty normal. That's fine. My my eyebrows are pretty standard. They're not like massive. I don't know. I got lucky with uh lucky with my my wild hair. Is that too red? Hmm. Is that too red? Oh no. Oh buddy. I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's the right color. It's like a burgundy. That one? I'm sorry this is taking so long. Normally uh it doesn't take me this long to make a character. Jeez, that's some red. I mean, we could be purple. There we go. That's that's like a natural-ish red. Yeah? Okay. Do we want to change this hair? I guess we're going to be wearing a helmet most of the time, so it doesn't really matter. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with this. Cool? Cool. Good enough. Do we have a scar? Are we that kind of person? Are we going to be cool? I have a scar. Oh, a lip scar? That works. Not, not crazy. Why does my character look like he aged like 20, 20 years? What happened? Yeah, we're going to do that one. Because... I don't know what happened, but he looks real old there, and that's really old, so... Cool. Finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. We did it! It only took... 15 minutes. <laughs> Sweet! Yo, the Vanguard's gonna be sick. Identification confirmed. Um... In classic mode, the original one to level, or here, let's go difficulty first. We're probably not going to play on insanity because I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, to break my brain. We might do a hardcore playthrough though. It gets, it gets real tough. Certain fights take forever. I think we'll do hardcore. Uh, auto level up off legendary mode. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent progression remain the same, but the levels is doubled. Okay, so let's do the legendary mode. That sounds like a lot easier to deal with. Squad power uses. Defensive, probably. We'll use our offensive abilities just fine. Subtitles on. Auto save on. Enable tutorials. Sure. It's been a long time since we played. Let's do it. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Ooh, that always gives me chills. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. Mass Effect. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, buddy. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. The chills, man. The chills. giving me super like goosebumps just like all up and down yeah bird those things are nuts Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. 
Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be the rude guy. You we're gonna be a jerk. Your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? <laughs> that's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. You're soldiers. Act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. Oh, poor Joker. You get that, Commander? You made him mad. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> yes, renegade. All right. Oh, I did not. We're going to have to get used to, to all of the keys. You binds and stuff. It is, uh, it's been a while. Let's, uh, let's look at the keybinds really quick so I don't forget. <laughs> keybinds. Okay, move around. We're using mouse keyboard. That's just what I like. Um, controller's fine for this game, but... Um, control. Okay, map. Equipment. Squad. Uh, quick saves. Good stuff, good stuff. Shoot, aim. Melee is F. Use first aid is V. G. We're going to change some of these. I have a, a 12 button uh, mouse from my MMO days. I can't not use it now because I'm so used to it. Um, actually, let's change this and this. Holster weapon is H. Okay. Nice. Um, these are those. X is last weapon. Okay. All right. I think we're good. How do I wait? Hold on. What about, um... It's all vehicle stuff. Where is... Uh... Talk. Use. Oh, spacebar. That's weird. Congratulations, Commander. We'll get used to it. Looks like we had a smooth run. You we'll get used to it. To captain? Uh, I heard you are going. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Just do your job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Aye, aye. Shift bar opening that up is going to mess with me. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. She makes a point. She makes the point. Hey. The doc is amazing, so we're not gonna we're not gonna We're not gonna tell her off. She's too good. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. Just another mission. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Oh, shoot, this we should have investigated. Understand. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the hero. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Okay, investigate. 
we're gonna try and get as much info throughout the game as possible. It's something I enjoy. I like learning the lore. Not like listening to it, so. Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. That's impressive. The Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. There are no human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. What you did on Torfin, that's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> Investigate. Oh, no. What do you know about the Spectres? No, we must, uh... Spectres don't it didn't give me the chance. At any cost. Don't forget that part. Why don't we have any Spectres of our own? Usually... What you did on Torfin. That's what they're looking for. I could do Success that. Success at any cost. Ruthless efficiency. Show no mercy. Sounds like my kind of job. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Okay. Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a Makes while. Makes sense. You get bored of the simple things. Why are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. All right. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye. Good info. Oh, it gave us Paragon. Okay, well, that's fine. For the most part, we're going to renegade. Sometimes we got to be nice, though. Certain certain people I can't be mean to. I'm sorry. I just can't. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. So what? I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is that a threat? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Captain this Anderson. Is far more than a simple shakedown run. Love him. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. You should have told me. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A need research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What are the details? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. 
This discovery could affect every species in council space. Why did we tell the council? We can handle this on our own. Unless oh, oh grumpy Crimson. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. Damn That's right I, I did. put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh. Well, I guess I could be a human Spectre. Uh, what if I refuse? I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. All right. You'll be All in right. charge of the ground team. I guess. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. The beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Okay. Wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay. Okay. Uh, um... Eden? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. What he just it symbolizes said. symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring That's species. what he just said. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay, the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or Oof. why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great All right. Night. I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Uh-oh. Bring it up on screen. Get down! That don't look good. That don't look good. Those things are always Everything cuts out after so that. No creepy. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. So good. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Let's go. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. 
Let's go. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. What is that goddamn hand? Engaging stealth systems. Creeping in. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Whoa! Dude, it looks so much better. Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. It looks what so survivors, much nicer. Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. I remember playing this on the Xbox, and it was. It is so much nicer looking. Alright, peace out, Nihilus. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Can we trust him? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted to say. I trust the Turians. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Garrus is my guy, so. All right. So shift brings up the quick keys. That's good. Q and E are movement for my guys. Good to know. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your what is a sprint? Base bar. Oh, we're gonna change that. <laughs> I gotta. There's no way. That's so weird. I guess I'll get used to it. Watch me pop these. Boom. Boom. Clear. Oh, that's not what I want. Got him. This is my, my favorite gun. Actually, the pistols are my favorite, but... The shotgun's so good. Move, move, move. No, Jenkins! Jenkins! Whoa, 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 well, we're gonna die. Because I don't know how to heal. What is my quick bind for that? First aid, V. I forgot, we're also playing on a uh, <laughs> higher difficulty, so I gotta, I gotta chill out. All right. Jenkins. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta calm down. Forget about him. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. We're brutal. All right, so, uh, jeez, we are beat uh, up <laughs> bad. Nice. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. There more? I knew it. Hey, maybe we will go pistols because I really like them. It'll get better once we get more more abilities and stuff with the shotguns. Do we miss something over here? Oh, <laughs> we sure did. You know we gotta get that loot. There are a bunch of burned up bodies. Med gel? We miss anything else? 
Gotta look around. No? Okay. Get in there! Oh god! Hell of a shot. What the hell? So creepy. The Gath are creepy, man. This game warned all about AI. It warned everyone all about AI. <laughs> it warned us. Okay. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was going to make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission. I need a status report now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. These things? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They want that Let's good thing. The they the want Duke that beacon. Close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Um. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol. Until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. The scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Okay. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap AI. labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay, and I've was... seen a Turian Spectre around here. There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime, none that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry, like I said, no touring. Okay. Move out. Aye, aye. Do we level? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if we did level, but we have three points to put in that we never put in. Um, we're gonna want pistols because having marksmen is nice, and having more. Oh, having barriers gonna be really good too. Let's go here, here, and then we'll go warp to get barrier. This guy is both. But we're going to go decryption, first aid. And that's all he's got. Ashley, assault rivals, you know it. Cool, cool. We're gonna keep our helmet on. I like the helmets. I think they look cool. Wait. Press escape to go to the squad menu. Oh, yep, yep. We just we just did that. Thank you though, game. At the far end of this trench. Chemical rounds, radioactive rounds. Light armor. Oh, Wait, so this we need to go into equipment, right? Right? We're remembering the game. It has been a hot minute. We have light armor. It's better than ours. No mods for our armor. Do we not? Oh no, we have mods for this. Chemical rounds?
Ah, toxic damage. This is cooldown reduction. We'll do that. And then... Chemical rounds. We don't have any mods for the other thing, though. Cool. Sweet! Move to the edge of cover and press the last mouse button. Okay. Oh, sometimes it just, like, takes a bit for you to get into cover. Come on out. I'm a little busy here. No, you're not. Get in the cover. Get in the cover. Oh god. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get used to shift is our is our thing. Okay. I see your leg. I see it. Okay, we're just going in. Blast him. Nice. Yeah, once we get used to the controls, it'll go a lot smoother. This is, this is the dig the site. site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We're wasting it's time. Moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Heard. We leveled, though. So then we grab Marksman and Barrier. Oh, Adrenaline Burst is really nice, too. Oh, no. We also need to get some of this stuff. I can't be not getting the dialogue. Yep. And Barrier. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Caden. Electronics. Barrier. Shield boost. Adrenaline burst. Nice. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Okay, did we miss anything? I'll wait for you there. That's the question. Was there gear back here? We miss some gear? No chest. No chest. Okay. Oh, there's a crate. There we go. Shotgun. Assault rifle. Sniper rifle. Nice. Let's see. That's a good shotgun. Then you can have this, Caden. Sure. I don't think you use snipers, but you can use that. Have a ball. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Uh oh. It's a good place for an uh -oh. I don't think I don't they think that qualifies as alive. <laughs> you know, I just I don't think I don't think this is this is qualified as alive. Yeah. 
Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. New pistol. Shotgun. Okay. I like it. Oops. Equipment. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, Kaden. Ashley, you can use this. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. Does he have... It's the same. Okay. Pistol, shotgun, sniper. Omni gels. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Some locks object or some locked objectives require decrypt decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you'll be able to unlock. Advance to the central core, move the mouse to move around the ring. Left click, right click to move inward or outward. Okay. Okay, so uh That's pretty easy. I know they get harder than that, but uh you know. We did it. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. You're safe. Tell me what happened. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Chill out, Manuel. You don't have to be so grim. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards yeah. us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Yeah, I don't know. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I don't know about that. He, I could shut him up. <laughs> Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little RKO. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. <laughs> He's better off. He had it a gun. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. You know, I don't think that's how you're supposed to do, uh, do that, you know. But it worked. It worked. Um. What else can you tell me about the attack? Let's get some more info. It all happened so fast. One second some we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geths swarmed over the camp. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Right. I was... Did you notice a Turian in the area? No, I'm sorry. We haven't left the shed since. The nobody's attack. seen them anywhere. The man moves so fast. Beacon. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. That's what we were hoping for. Secrets are locked inside. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. The possibilities are endless. Okay, I think that was it, yeah? Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Oh, Renegade 9. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you get get whacked. Alright. Is there goods over here? Oh, snap. Okay, well, here's Nihilus. Saren.
Nihilus. You know... This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Well, goddamn. You know, I never really understood how they didn't realize that he was, like, corrupt by the Geth. He looks very corrupt. Like, robot -y. Very much like he's being manipulated. Maybe I'm just crazy. Where's my shotgun? Give me this bad boy. Bam! Get out of here! Oh god. Those things are terrifying, because they just eat your shields. Eat them. Okay. Pistol. We're gonna get used to this. It's just gonna take a bit. Oh, this is a triple shot pistol. No wonder. Okay. Let's blow those up so we don't get hit by them. Get down here. I'm not scared of you. Oh no. My guy. Ooh. Okay, we'll be back. I'm sorry. Nihilus, I'm sorry. You're dead. Uh, getting loot is more important. You're dead. You're already dead. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. You're a coward. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Such a Me? dick. But, but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. The Geth didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind mm -hmm. the crates? Mm -hmm. They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You make me sick. You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. Get him, Shepard. It, it was horrible. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I, I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And, and it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. That's messed up. Did we Tell miss something with this? I feel like 
They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can... They... Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole hmm. other life. I thought there was something we missed, too. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. And I feel like I missed something there. Every time I've done that before, there's been other conversation with him. So, well, it is what it is. I screwed it up. That's life sometimes. Get in there, Caden. Okay. Who's shooting at me? Oh, these guys. Hold left shift. The power wheel lets you use the powers. Yeah, that's what I thought. But, oh, we can set these to quick slots. Is that how we do it? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Barrier. Three can be that. Boom, boom. So we got throw. We got barrier. So this just throws people. Literally what it, what it says. Uh, this gives us a shield. This goes pistol damage accuracy. Good stuff. And then warp does it. Uh, damages all nearby enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable to further damage. So we put that on people and then we can blast the crap out of them. Do that. I did not mean to heal there. Nice. Good stuff. The little bomb blew up. Let's uh, overload this big boy. And then we'll bury her. Oh, Lord. And then we'll, we'll pop this and just go crazy. And then we run in. We get closer. Get down! Get in the cover! Nice! Do the grenades! The freaking grenades! I forgot! I forgot about the grenades! Oh. Ow! Get down! Nice. What can we do? Overkill? Oh, that is now where I wanted that! Oh god, there's multiple! It's fine, we got barrier. Nice. Woo! Not in the middle of a fight! I'm not trying to talk to you, lady. We're moving. We're moving. Move train, move! Ah, damn. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to play a little technical. The entire a little bit more smart than that. Because uh, some of these fights are going to get pretty tough on this difficulty. Yo, he's sucking something up. The bombs! The freaking bombs! <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. We gotta get to this guy. Demolition charges. The guest must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. 
Nice. We did it. One down. Go, go, go. Get in here. Okay. Protect me. No, don't. <laughs> Come on, Shepard. Don't use the bomb of the shield. That's not smart. That's not smart. Get in here a little bit. Let's go ahead and pop this guy. Come on. That's not that. Which one is my shotgun? It's two. Okay, F2. Ah! Ah! Oh, we missed! Okay, we're good. Where's the other one? We missed one. Back here, wasn't it? Disarm. They'll do the thing. We got this. Caden, I believe in you. Where's the last one? You weren't ready for shotgun, Shepard. Blam! Blam! Last one. Dun dun dun. Nice. Is there anything down here? There's some loot down here? No, they're just gonna they're gonna do me dirty like that. What RPG is doing me dirty like that? Is there loot over here? Gosh. It did me so dirty. Did me so dirty. Okay, take. Quick save. Let's get the shotgun out. Okay. Oh god. Get out of here! You jerk! Okay, we get in there. Pop our barrier. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Freaking heavy armor. New light armor. Oh, bust this bad boy open. Grenade upgrade. And new shotgun. Okay. Looks like there's a safe over here. More different rounds. Cool. Check the other side, too. Yo, the shotgun. The shotgun's gonna be it. It's gonna be it. More loot? No? No? Oh! I knew it. 
I freaking knew it. Oh yeah. Okay, let's do our let's do our upgrades really quick. New heat heat tank. Um shotgun. We want that. Pistol. Heat sink on there. Is so neither of those are better. Let's go to Ashley. She can't wear heavy yet. Hmm. Okay, well, that's kind of lame. Did we get a. Uh, no, we did not. Um. Throw that on. Caden's been using this also, but I feel like he should be using the pistol more. Cool. Not what I wanted, but it's fine. We're out of the fight. Okay, I think we're getting it down a little bit more. We're getting used to things. Getting used to the controls again. What's going on? Prothean beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Saren touched Normandy, it. Standing by. With his mind. What a hero. God, those visions always creep me out. They're way too real. <laughs> way too real. Freaking shit, man. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. <laughs> that anger, man. That anger is so good. That character is so good. If you haven't read the books. Doctor, Doctor cool. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Well, we survived. Yeah, I was worried there, Shepherd. How are you feeling? I would hope so. <laughs> Not great. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Yeah. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Okay, so I don't know who I'm going to be nice to. But I feel like I don't like being mean to any of the crewmates. Because you get so much more info out of them and whatnot from talking with them. So, I feel like I'm going to be nice to all of the crew and mean to everyone else. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Uh, thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. 
Abnormal beta waves. Ashley be digging. Digging on the shepherd. Your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Yeah, more like a nightmare. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death. Destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. Those noises. To my report. It may. Oh. Give me chills. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Cool. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, why is Williams here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Everyone Lieutenant gives her so much flack. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't mind. I don't mind, Ashley. But, like, everyone. Everyone hates on Ashley. All the time. I don't mind, Ashley. I like all the characters, so. I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I'm pissed Intel off. Drop the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. God damn them. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. Yep, the yep, yep. Destroyed and Geth are invading. Yep, they look bad. And the Council's going to want answers. The hell with them. The council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. This is what this is true. Hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? So something cool, if you haven't checked out, like I said before, the book. Um, there's a there's a book about um, Captain Anderson and Saren's relationship before this. And it's super good. I really enjoyed it. I read it a long time ago, but super good. And you should check it out. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but if you just look up Mass Effect books, it's probably there. I'll have to look it up and, and figure out what it is for the next next video. But super good. I would recommend uh, reading it if you if you love the story. Super good. Uh, I'm not sure. It was a vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision. A vision of what? Um. A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Forget it. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. They can't help us. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. It's fair. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. 
We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Aye, oh, yeah, Captain. It was a fantastic start to the game. Uh, had a blast. I <laughs> I love Mass Effect so much. The story's so good, and it just gets better and better throughout the games. So, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you had a good time and enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe if you're enjoying what you're watching. Like the video and uh, hit the notification bell to see when I post more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again. Have a good one.